The Paris Gown is a story about three friends who reunite in Paris years after they've said goodbye to each other and they end up sharing a beautiful Cote Couture Dior gown. So we've got Margot, who is an Australian socialite. We have Gina, who is an American journalist who aspires to be a novelist. And we have Claire, who is a chef and wants to earn a Michelin star one day. Uh, and so the three of them met as very young women in a Cordon Bleu cookery class. Uh, they part ways and life happens to them that they, they go through, each goes through her own trauma and they reunite in Paris to heal their wounds, uh, get back on their feet and, and enjoy life in Paris together. So that's basically the story. I, I call it my heartfelt tribute to female friendship. Usually when I write two points of view, I might write each story separately. But this story, the three of them, everything each of them does impacts the other so beautifully that I had to write them just as they came. And, and I just alternate one after the other. So, uh, I, I can't really claim that I set it up this way, but it just worked so beautifully that each of them has, it acts as a catalyst to the other's story in some way. Uh, and there's always, there was always, you know, there was never a thing of what happens now. I just knew because of what had gone before, what would come next. And, uh, yeah, I, I just loved writing them the, I've, I've often been uh, one of three best friends for some reason or other. That just seems to be how it works. And I think uh, it, it's interesting that each of them brings a different thing to the other uh, in terms of what they give and, and how they clash. You know, there's often conflict because of the personalities involved. So, uh, yeah, that was really interesting to explore here dialogue dialogue has always been the easiest thing for me touch wood uh so i i, I just i think somebody a uh, character becomes really real for me as soon as they start talking and i could do character descriptions until i'm blue in the face i do not know that person until they walk on the page uh and that's just how i work that's not i'm not saying that's the right way a lot of people do it very differently uh, but I, and I find things out about them as I'm writing, you know, little bits of backstory that I think, oh, okay. So that's something that maybe will come into the story, but, uh, it's a real discovery process for me with them. Uh, the thing you have to, you know, for, from a craft point of view, when you've got three women, you can't ever say she said, <laughs> because who's who's talking so that can get uh, a little tricky sometimes you have to you have to work on that uh aspect of it to make sure everybody knows who's talking at what time